Hey guys, um, I don't know why I have my seatbelt on. I guess I'm just ready to go. But I wanted to update you on my last doctor's appointment. So I will be 40 weeks tomorrow. Tomorrow is my due date. And I did my last doctor's appointment and I went in, they took my temperature, I was 97. Um, I left a urine sample, they took weight and blood pressure. My blood pressure was awesome, 110 over 80. So super, super good, even though I was worried it would be high because I was late to the appointment. I'm like late to all my appointments, it's so bad. Anyway, and then I got undressed, my doctor came in, she measured my belly right at 40 weeks, right on track and heartbeat was 145 146 i mean it's just the same thing week after week that's why i'm just kind of breezing through this um but the big thing was she checked me to see how far i was and she was like yeah you're basically the same one and a half maybe two but basically i just haven't progressed at all which is great <laughs> she was like i'm so shocked you didn't go into labor last night i guess like a lot of people who were pregnant went into labor last night because there were huge storms last night like tornado warnings the rain was coming in sideways lots of people lost power it was crazy but nope not my baby he is perfectly comfortable where he is so she was like okay let's talk induction which I was prepared for and I was like yes let's talk and she was like well we have lots of openings tomorrow if you want to go tomorrow and I was like no, <laughs> I don't want to go tomorrow because tomorrow is the 9th, my due date. September 9th is my brother's fiance's birthday. And so I don't want him sharing with her. I'd rather space it out. And she was like, or we'll probably have a lot of openings on Friday. Yeah, Friday is September 11th, 9-11. No wonder there's lots of openings. No one that wants to have their baby on that day. So I said, no. And she was like, or we could wait until next week. And I said, yeah, let's wait until next week. I was like, how about like Monday or Tuesday? And she was like, well, I'm not at the hospital until Wednesday. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so she was like, okay, so we'll do Wednesday. She was like, or I could do, um, have you come in Tuesday night and like have you labor overnight and then deliver in the morning and I was like can we just do to uh Wednesday morning my last pregnancy with Grayson we went in at Tuesday night at 9 p.m and labored through the night and I got no sleep and it, I was just miserable it was terrible and um she was like yeah that's totally fine we can do it Wednesday morning so we're playing Wednesday morning the, it's so late in the day, my appointment was at like four o'clock that the hospital scheduling person wasn't in anymore, but she said she was gonna call tomorrow and schedule for me, and then they will call me and let me know what time we should come in for our induction. She said it could be as early as five, could be as late as nine. Hopefully it's more later in the day, cause she was like, make sure you eat breakfast in the morning. And I'm like, how much breakfast am I gonna want at f four o'clock in the morning if my induction's at five, you know? So hopefully it's a later date, later time, but we will see. Um, so if I don't go into labor between now and next Wednesday, Wednesday is the day that I'll have him, which would be um, Wednesday, September 16th. So we will see what happens. I might go into labor and I might have to be induced. Um, they said they're gonna schedule this weekend for me to get a COVID test. Um, it'll just be through one of the like drive-through um, locations and it's a throat swab. So that doesn't seem too bad to me instead of a nose swab. So I'll get that done and hopefully be negative and that'll all be great. Um, and so I just have to wait till tomorrow for them to call me and let me know what time we're gonna be induced. Um, she's expecting my labor to be about six to eight hours um, based off of last labor. Last labor, I was in labor for about 12 hours. So this one should be shorter, should. <laughs> so that's the news. Um, I'll keep you guys updated if I end up going into labor before then. But if not, we are planning on a week from Wednesday, Wednesday the 16th. So excited. So stay tuned. Are you, are you swimming? Yeah. Build, build, build a castle. Build, build, build a castle. Build a castle. Yeah. Build, build, build a castle. Build, 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 build the castle. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I realized that 
I only filmed right after my doctor's appointment yesterday and I never filmed any more of that day. So I'm just gonna continue it on today so the vlog's a little longer. We are enjoying what I think is the last day of summer. It is a high of like 89 today. It's like 88 outside. And so I got Gray in his bathing suit one last time. Got the pool out one last time, filled it up. He is swimming, having a great time splashing around. Wow! Look at that! Look at that! Woohoo! It's a pool. It's a pool. I say that this is the last day of summer because after today it's supposed to cool down a lot. Tomorrow's supposed to still be kind of warm, 83, but then um, like next week is supposed to be like low 70s. Um, it's not supposed to get higher than like 78 or something, so it's gonna get a lot cooler, which I am all for because I love fall. Fall's my favorite season, but we are enjoying one last time. Now I keep saying this like, oh, this is gonna be the last hot day and then it gets hot again. And truthfully, last year, it was 90s until the first week of October. So it could get hot again, but I'm hoping this is kind of the end. Um, I've already started to get some of my fall decorations out. Um, although I can't find some of them. I think we packed them away when we were like packing other things in the house. And now I can't find like Grayson's trick or treat basket and some other, um, fall decorations, so I'm not sure what to do about that. <laughs> not only is today what I'm calling the last day of summer, but today is also my due date. It is September 9th, and so I am due today. However, as you can see, I am still pregnant. <laughs> Baby's not coming out. Um, like I said earlier, we have an induction plan for a week from today. So we'll see if I make it another week or if I go on my own, but we're just gonna enjoy the pool and the sun one last time. I mean, we'll still go outside in the fall. It'll just pool not be in the pool. In the yeah, is it sunny? That pool, is that sunny? Yeah, in the pool. Is that sunny? Is it sunny? So Gray is loving it. He has loved this pool way more this summer than last summer. Last summer, he would not sit in it. He barely wanted anything to do with it. So this summer, it was much better. I'm thinking next summer, we're going to need a bigger pool because I'm going to have two babies. <laughs> and Gray's going to be a lot bigger. So if you guys have any pool recommendations, like should I get an inflatable pool or do they make like these hard pools just a little bigger maybe? Um, let me know in the comments down below. I obviously have a year to figure that out <laughs> because I don't need it till next summer. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd just record a little more and just show you guys how we're enjoying this hot, hot day. Yeah, are you swimming in the pool? Yeah, I'm silly. You're so silly.